So in this problem, we're going to apply Fourier transform to the direct also function to see what we get. So we call that Fourier transform tells us that a function f of x can be expressed in such a way. So for some function f of k, we multiply it by e to the power of i k x, and then we integrate it with respect to dk. And then f of k itself is defined by this formula. So from negative infinity to positive infinity. And this time we put down f of x, and then we put e to the power of negative i k x dx. So this time we want to, uh, the function that we're interested in is the direct delta function. So let's try to find f of k for the case where f of x is the direct delta function. So all we have to do is just to apply this formula to find what the f of k should be. And then in order to evaluate this integral, we're going to use a formula that we've been using several times already so far. So this formula was mentioned at the start of this section, so you can check back on that if you need reminding of where this came from. And this integral is going to be equal to f of a. And you can see that in this case, we can apply this formula. This is the case when a is equal to 0. So in the end, this is going to be the f of x. So this entire integral is going to be equal to f of 0, which is equal to substituting x is equal to 0 for this term, which is just going to be equal to 1. e to the power of 0 is just equal to 1. So f of k is actually just equal to 1 divided by the square root of 2 pi. And then now we can substitute this back into this formula to see how we can express the direct delta function uh, for uh, uh, in term, uh, using Fourier, uh, Fourier transform. So we found that f of k is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 pi. And so that means our function f of x, so the direct delta function, is equal to, so we're going to use this expression again. So we substitute 1 over the square root of 2 pi into f of k. And then of course we can just pull out the 1 over square root of 2 pi and combine it with the other 1 over square root of 2 pi on the outside. So we have 1 over 2 pi, and then we have an integral from negative infinity to positive infinity. And so there we have it. This is how you apply Fourier transform to that direct delta function. So you see that this is exactly the expression that Griffiths gives us.